let's move on. Sabina, you saw uh, when you finished saving the world, and I believe this is uh, Jesse Eisenberg's uh, this is directorial his, debut. Yeah, big debut. Um, he wrote and directed, um, and uh, <sighs> wait, who wrote and directed? Jesse, Jesse Eisenberg. Eisenberg. Oh, Jesse Eisenberg. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, and my boyfriend and I were talking about this. We think he may have moved to an area that that is in this film um, to get out of Hollywood, which I think informed his story better. Or he, I, I don't know the exact um, details, but you know, he definitely lived in his own place to create this film and screenplay. And um, the producers of the film are Emma Stone and Dave McGarry. Uh, McCary. I don't know Dave as well as Emma, obviously, but um, they they picked they read his script and were like, "We're doing this film." What, what's so, it about? Um, so what it's about is it stars Julianne Moore and um, a newcomer um, Finn um, Wolf Wolfhand, and it's and it's they Finn is their son. Um, Julianne's married to a chancellor of a college in a small Indiana town. Um, very American white bread deal. And um, Julianne Moore runs a women's uh, shelter um, for uh, battered women and, and their kids. And so, and the shelter actually is a place where these people live until they can get their um, life back in order. And, and so she is a very staunch, stern, heady, intelligent woman um, in, you know, the twilight of her life a little bit, you know, and she is very unemotional, um, down to the clothing she's wearing. It was really well done for her character. And she is recognizing that they are, no one in the family is connected, not the father, not the son. The son is a online, um, sort of music sensation. He writes songs. He's been playing music his whole life. He's, uh, his name is Ziggy. He's kind of this sort of you know, regular teenager in the 21st century with his online presence and playing music, trying to get women, you know, trying to get the girls and talks about how many followers he has. And he's always performing. He actually puts a red light outside his room. So nobody interrupts him when he's online um, because his parents are completely detached from him. That being said, they're also completely detached from each other. And the father, who um, isn't really quite a big character in the film, kind of has points where he shows how narcissistic and egocentric everybody is. Um, and so Julianne Moore goes, uh, gets a new person into the um, women's shelter with her son and notices how bright the son is and how he's taking care of his mother, who's been assaulted by his father, and he kind of still works with his father. And she starts to mentor him in going into higher education. And so she's sort of found a replacement for, for Ziggy. In the meantime, Ziggy's trying to, um, um, goes after a, a woman in class who, a young, younger, young adult who is very political, very mindful. Um, and um, he goes to one of these poetry readings where she does this poet, poem about the Maldives sinking into the ocean and, and why and, and how um, indigenous people are abused and oppressed. And so he tries to put the, the poem to music and he fails because he's too shallow to understand. Um, so it's very well done. Julianne Moore saves the film. Um, it has some interesting references into popular culture, but it's so, um, it's barren. Like, you see the same people, you see the same empty streets, you're in their house, you, um, and you're hearing these conversations and um, you feel like there should be more to it. And I think that's a pandemic issue um, in making a film during a pandemic. But because Julianne Moore is such a sophisticated, gifted, talent, talented woman, she holds that film. Um, and Zoe being a newcomer, he, he's great. He does his musicianship well, but you're not connected. Um, but for a first effort for Sundance, I thought it was it was really well done. Um, and yeah, it kind of it's kind of there. Like, I don't dislike it. I don't think it's the most amazing thing I've ever seen, but it was a nice way to start the festival. Um, and that's yeah, that's kind of it, it. It sounds like 
um, Sundance is kind of notorious for like the first, the sort of opening movie is kind of meh. And it yeah. sounds like this, it, this is sort of a, cause it, like I, 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 you know, just hearing your description of it is like family drama, this happens and then this happens and then this happens yep. and then this happens. And then what's the fucking point? And I, and I kind of feel like if that's, if it's all about the, then this happens and it's like, there's little <clears throat> sort of observations here and there. And then also sort of pandering to the audience with the, like, you know, uh, the, the sort of suburban family, like tackling indigenous people issue always seems fucking pandering to me. You know, I, I it just, to me, it does. I just look at that and I'm like, why the fuck do you care about this? You have no experience of that. I, it's, it's, it just annoys the shit out of me personally when I, and I've seen that at Sundance for years. Like I, it's, it's, um, it's a movie that falls in the category of white people problems. It's just like, totally. Hey, yeah, you're complaining about something that it would be better. It would be better if someone else told this story. That's how I always think about that. And yeah. it, it's kind of annoying, but it's like, Alan, I feel bad. You could put I me know. up. But well, you're talking like, right now. And no, then, we have to, yeah, we have to move me yeah. to the bottom. We got to move me yeah. to the bottom. The other thing to the no one goes on top. Like, story, <laughs> there was no ending. Like, he did not have an ending to his story oh. here. It is the most bizarre. Like, she's watching his stuff on her screen at the center. Zoe gets up out of class and walks out of the school and goes to see his mother. And he expects everybody to know him, which I thought was sort of interesting. And someone recognized him and then goes about his business. And he's like, I'm a sensation. That's his whole deal. And he looks at his mother. She looks at him. That's it. And I'm like, mm. ah, it doesn't work for me. They didn't. Touch. Yeah, it was kind I, of I've I've seen a million movies like this at Sundance and they're just okay, but they have yeah, like yeah. names in it. And it's, and, and sometimes it'll be like an, uh, a director crossing over into being a filmmaker. And I'm actually sure I, I'm actually, I'll bet that there's some stuff that that's actually really good, but um, oh, I don't Moore know. Is amazing. She play, yeah, she, like no. I said, she is pro um, all the way to the hair, like her walk, her, I mean, everything she does holds that movie together. Um, wow. Well, yeah. again, um, you know, it wouldn't be Sundance without some hits and some misses.